Hi everyone, this is Laura Hammock from the Marble Jar channel and in today's video, I'll share my process for spring cleaning my iPad and iPhone. I'll show you how I determine which apps to keep and how I organize my screens. So I try to do about 15 minutes of organizing every weekend just to stay on top of the chaos. This weekend, I chose to do a little digital organizing. My iPhone and my iPad were overflowing with apps that I don't use, and it was time to purge and organize my digital space. Unfortunately for me, this took much longer than 15 minutes, but this may be a faster process for you. Okay, before I reveal the embarrassing number of apps that I had on my iPad, let me just make a couple of excuses for myself. Number one, I do constantly download new apps to try new systems and solve tech problems. I probably end up using something like 10% of the apps that I download. And number two, by far the biggest issue is that in settings I have automatic download turned on for apps. So what that means is that if I download an app on my iPhone, it immediately downloads on my iPad. More importantly, since my kids and I all share the same Apple ID, the apps that they put on their phones automatically download to my iPad. So I set this setting deliberately since I like to know what my kids are doing on their phones, but it means that I have a lot more apps on my phone than I need. So I counted. On my iPad alone, I had 264 apps. <laughs> Yikes, right? Okay, the way I've always done this before is that I just go through and delete a bunch of apps and then I stick the apps that I want to keep in folders. This time, I really wanted to do a thorough cleaning and organizing, kind of the equivalent of taking everything out of a closet and then starting from scratch rather than just kind of rearranging things a little bit. So here's what I did. Number one, I listed all of the apps. So I created a new Google spreadsheet and I listed all of the apps on my iPad. You can do this by going through your iPad folder by folder so I went by the app list and settings, but it really didn't include every app, so going through each folder is probably the best bet. It is so much easier for me to make decisions when I and organize when I have the apps listed out away from my phone. Okay, once I did that, I made some determinations. I tagged each app with one of three designations, keep, delete, or question mark. I don't know if you can tell, but I have a slight hoarding tendency it's not terrible, but my instinct is always to hang on to something just in case I might need it later. The nice thing about apps is that once an app is deleted, you can always download it again from the cloud if you need to. That makes it much easier to make more ruthless delete decisions. The question marks means that I don't know what the app is or I need to do a little re research into it. There were a lot that fit into this category. As I researched, I tried to fill in the comments column with a little more information about what function the app performed. For example, this app, Magic Eraser, allows you to remove the background from photos. So it's not terribly clear from the title what it does, so it is helpful to have a description in this column. So once I've determined whether I'm going to keep or delete the app, I focus on all of the keep items and decide the category. So for the apps that I use daily or weekly, I consider those main apps. I want them to be easy to get to and prominently displayed. More about that in a bit. For those apps that I do not consider my main apps, I'm going to put them in folders. Now, I have made the mistake of creating too many folders. If you do that, you won't be able to find anything and it'll drive you absolutely nuts. The folders should represent broad enough categories that you have more than a few apps in each. So here are my categories. Audio, which contains music, podcasts, books on tape, etc. Video, which has TV, movies, TED Talks, that kind of thing. Communication, which contains um, email apps, video chats, digital voice, social media. Um, productivity, so that's like word processing, spreadsheet, presentation apps, PDFs. Um, photos, which is all apps to manipulate and edit photos. Um, money, which contains Mint, um, my banking app, an app for my kids' allowances. Shopping is any app that helps me to buy things, so Amazon, Domino's Pizza, the Apple App Store, Open Table, um, tools. These are utilities like a flashlight or screen changers, um, find my iPhone, dictionary, Google Home, and this one that I call Don't Use. So this is any innate Apple app that has to stay on the iPad or should probably stay on the iPad, but that I don't really use. Calendar, maps, notes, etc. And then some folders that are just totally self-explanatory and that I don't need to go into, travel, grad school, 
guitar, YouTube, work, kids school, and news and articles. So once I have everything put into a category, I delete and organize them into folders. So I take my spreadsheet and based on the choices that I've made on the spreadsheet, I delete apps and I pull them into category folders for categories. So now that I have that step done, they are still kind of a mess, so I need to organize. So here's my organizational schema. The first two pages of my iPad are all for my main apps, the ones that I use daily or weekly. So most of these are standalone apps, but I do have two folders that I keep here as well, audio and money. The third page is all folders organized al alphabetically with one exception. The don't use folder is always at the end. So now I've accomplished several things. I've number one, reduced the number of, of apps on my iPhone from 264 to 152. I number two, ensured that my most frequently used apps are easy to find and to get to. Number three, I created a nice organizational structure to allow um, to follow for screens and folders. And finally, number four, I created a reference spreadsheet to consult in case I forget what app is where or what app does what. So next I'll do my iPhone with very similar organizational structure so I don't have to switch gears when I switch devices. So let me know what you think. Comments are always appreciated and thanks for watching.